I think I should have been a chef. It's so good. Periods. Uh-uh, periods. It's on social media. y'all i tell you the summertime my skin just does not freaking do well this is me complaining about my summertime skin well i want to thank vital authority for sending over this multi-collagen protein and for sponsoring today's video Vita Authority views health not just about avoiding a disease or illness but about physical mental and social well-being too each supplement is tested rigorously to be free of all contaminants, heavy metals, pesticides, and bacteria to ensure that what's on the label is actually in your bottle. I was sent the delicious pink lemonade flavor, and it is really reminiscent of a delicious pink lemonade. This complex uses a proprietary blend of several types of collagen supporting your joints and bones, youthful vibrant skin, reduces fine lines and wrinkles, aids in hair and nail growth, and of course, what I most definitely need, improving my gut health. It's super easy to drink. I added the powder, a little water, some ice cubes, a little more powder <laughs> to enhance that pink lemonade flavor, and some spearmint from outside to give it this minty, cool, refreshing flavor. This also contains my favorite ashwagandha. Y'all, this collagen has really changed the way I look at supplements. It's really delicious and has so many benefits in one easy drink. You know I'm fancy, so I had to try to find some lemon and make me a little garnish. But please do head, to, head over to Vita Authority. They have so many amazing products and this drink was super delicious. Please go to a Vita Authority website for your discount by using Marie 15 and enjoy. Um, I don't know about the weekend. I don't even know. We're going to fly by the seat of our pants as always. The weather is getting nice. I am ready to get outside. I want to take it outside <laughs> and even if it's not with my man her she I me we are always gonna take care of ourselves regardless so yeah we're gonna be trying to find some things to get into Yeah, I don't know what's happening later. Nah. Your guess is as good as mine. It's probably going to be a normal Friday night. Tomorrow, I'm going to get out of the house. I don't know who what I want to do, but I want to get outside and wear some sunglasses. And these, these thighs are not ready for booty shorts. They're <laughs> yet. But, um, yeah. No, it won't be no booty shorts. I was lying. All right. I heard y'all was looking for me. Here I go. Y'all, I am bothered. 
Like, I know that's probably a little too personal and that I really shouldn't be letting things get under my skin, but I have really just been aggy. I, it's something. I think I need my chakras balanced. It's, it's something going on and I need to, I need to get it together, but. Ooh, hunty. Today's Friday. It's Mother's Day weekend. Happy early Mother's Day whenever this finds you, if you are a mother. Um, I will tip my head off, but it, <laughs> I can't, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm not going to do that right now. You, you don't want that right now either. Um, yes, happy Mother's Day to you all. Um, you know, as mothers, we, we have a job. I won't even go into it because if you know, you know. Like they say. Dry and crusty. I haven't eaten. Um, I think I'm gonna make like a salmon crab croquet sandwich tonight. Um, I don't know how much cooking I'm doing tomorrow. Hopefully none. We were actually supposed to go see the Rick James play. I think it was supposed to be at the um, Dallas Academy of the Dallas Black Academy of Arts and Letters but it got canceled so he sent me an email saying basically like they are supposed to refund his money i don't know if they didn't have enough people to come see it because i didn't even know he had gotten some tickets to that he talked about it but um yeah i was going to talk about what my situation was why i'm a little a little spicy today but I won't I won't get into that I won't that's how I feel then this heat y'all I tell you the summertime my skin just does not freaking do well um Yeah, my skin does not do well in the summertime. I have a, which I shouldn't even be wearing this hat, but I have a bump on my face, on my forehead, right on my forehead, like a dot. Um, and I've been trying not to put my hands on it and mess with it, but my skin is just so oily, so oily. Um, yesterday, was that yesterday? Yeah, that was last night. Um, I was gifted two orchids, two beautiful orchids. Hopefully I can, <laughs> hopefully I can keep them alive. I was gifted two beautiful orchids and I got two bunches of tulips. That I didn't put in a vase yesterday when I got home. I just put some water in the bottom of the bucket. But I need to put my flowers up. And I actually need to go ahead and cook this salmon and like um, kind of break it apart for the croquettes tonight. That's it, y'all. I'm in a mood. I'm in a mood. Maybe if I have a drink and turn my music on, I'll feel better. So, maybe maybe we need to try that. But I'm going to get all this stuff cleaned up before I go get a bath and, you know, like, settle into my day. But, yeah, maybe I'll find me something to eat to put on my stomach so the alcoholic beverages won't make me sick. Look, by the time he get here, I might be in a bed. <laughs> I might be in a bed sleep. I think I need a couple of drinks. So I tried this granola. Look, I'll just be on a tangent. So I tried this granola one time before. It's the organic toasted coconut granola. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to try it again. 
because I like coconut a whole lot. So I just, you know, put it with my yogurt and maybe that'll, I don't have to do coconut shreds like I normally do. I can just sprinkle a little cinnamon and use this. You know, we always get those items. So yeah, I'm gonna do what I gotta do and then I'm gonna have some beverage and some music. We will see if that lighten up the mood. Cause baby, I'm, I'm, definitely feel like it's one too many lights are shining on me um, my salmon is out of the oven and it tastes so good I really just want to eat it right now Ooh. Mm, 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 mm. I could eat it just like this. I really could. Um, so, I need to flake this off of the skin. And I'm so disappointed that it's so hot right now because, yeah, I'm gonna have to let it cool. But when you leave the skin on, it's actually easier to flake. Oh, yeah. That salmon is so good and so hot right now. Oh yeah, it's just falling off the skin. Um, I chopped up. The, I I wish my camera would zoom in really good because I need y'all to see this chop. This is a chop. <laughs> Okay. A chop of jalapenos all over my counter. Um, diced up an onion. I scrambled about three eggs. I have an extra one over here. I have some mayonnaise, mustard, Worcestershire, and instead of using hot sauce, I'm gonna squeeze a little sriracha. And I have jump lump, uh, jumbo lump crab meat in the little container. But yeah, we gotta get this salmon in this bowl and cooled off a little bit. This is so easy. And whatever crab cakes, I'm only going to cook, I'm talking about crab cakes, whatever salmon crab cakes, I'm going to try to freeze like two for myself. It's probably not going to be good. Like I'm that girl, like it's probably not going to be good frozen. Like I need to eat it when it's hot and fresh. It's so hot right now though. Mmm. Mmm. Don't mind me. Ooh. Yeah, this is the easy part. Um. So my man has to drive down 635 to get to my house. 
it's always something. It's always something with 635 in Dallas. It's always something with 75. It's always something with every freeway in Dallas, okay? So basically, it's definitely going to be more salmon than it is crab. But I'm thinking what I may do is pull some of this out of here and make like a, instead of using tuna fish, make like a salmon and eggs and put it over like some lettuce. That sounds good. Now I will do that. I will repurpose things like how I use shrimp for two different meals. Like I'm good for that. Okay. And I know you're probably thinking, um, Marie, if you use the gloves, maybe you wouldn't have to wash your hands so frequently, right? Let me get the jalapenos off my counter. This salmon is so hot. It's so good. It's seasoned so good. And just baking it in the oven just that quickly did what it needed to do. So now I can take this foil and just discard it okay okay sorry y'all I don't have my glasses on. Okay. I have to let this cool. There's no way that I'm gonna be able to do anything with this. But that's gonna make, that's gonna make a lot. So, So good. Yeah, I'm gonna take some out of here. Or not. Do you know how good one of these would be with like a fried egg and some bacon on it? I'm telling you, look, I have an imagination out of this world. We can come up with something, okay? Okay, that is gonna be my new thing. I think I'm gonna eat that salmon for a week. That could probably be the most like healthiest thing I could do. So, it's just so good mashed up like this. Like I could eat it with some rice and I, I was gonna say slice the avocado and be cute, but I don't even eat <laughs> I don't even eat avocado like this. So, no, not that. But there's so many things. There's so many things. So many healthy, delicious things like white rice topped with um, crispy, crispy fried onions with sriracha mayo over the. I should have been a chef. I should have been a chef. I went to school for criminal justice. <laughs> Thought I was gonna be walking around with a pistol on my hip and I should have been a chef. Not that I'm upset about my construction career because let me tell you, it has been probably more rewarding than, yeah. But I'm not gonna lie, at the end of the day, I'm. Construction is cool, but it's very mundane too. Like, there's not a lot of excitement. I, I mean, I do what I do and that's it. <laughs> but, yeah, back to my salmon.
I'm gonna eat this a couple of different ways. I'm gonna go get two more fillets on Sunday and prepare it like this. And I'm gonna make my lunch for the week with it consisting only of this salmon. I'm gonna see how many recipes I can do, so. Look out for you, girl. <laughs> um, all right. I'm really trying to kill some time because I want this to cool off. I need it to cool off so we can get going. I'll be back. Lord, God, y'all. I'm hungry. So this is my mix before I have added my eggs and my breadcrumbs. I did squeeze a little lemon juice in here already, so we should be good to go. I'm done. I'm done messing with it. I really want to add some lemon juice to it, but those crispy fried onions ought to get it all the way together. Okay, so there's nothing left to do but scoop these things up and put them on a tray and get them ready to drop in some hot grease. Um, let me pour me a drink and then let's go. <laughs> I need some friends because y'all was letting me walk around in here in this kitchen with this skim tags on the back of my shorts. <laughs> okay, so this is a lot. This can feed a whole table of people. Eh? Yes. Yeah, what's that? What? Um, yeah. I'm was recording and trying to finish these crab cakes. So I put them in the refrigerator. What? what? What's that? Shit. Yeah, it is. What's up? No. Ain't ready. No. You super crunk. What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? And both of these are yours. Yeah, sauce on it if you don't want it. Put a hole to it. Huh? You know, sauce on it if you don't want it, put a hole to it. Why you eat the lettuce? That was good part. Uh. So good. So good. Uh, good morning. It is Saturday morning. We are about to go run some errands and eat. <laughs> and you looking at like it tastes good. <laughs> they gonna make it again or I'm gonna get my money's worth. Hmm? So either they gonna make it again or I'm just gonna have to get my money's worth. What you mean? I'll give another rim on that. I know they got tie in, they gotta have tie in. Maybe not. Because doing the same. Well, I'll eat that with you. Huh? And I won't order nothing. 
Because I don't want to get too full. Cool. And then I'm cooking in a little while. What time is it? Huh? Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to get, I don't want to be sleepy. Yeah. Right. <laughs> See what I was doing too. You don't want to stop chewing though, so yeah. That motherfucker fire. It's like perfectly yeah, char grilled yeah. and it's so warm. Like it just literally came off of here. Oh, that's fire. Yeah, yeah. Mm, shit, I could have probably ate a dozen. Look at all these shells. Oh, is she good? And that little touch of Tabasco. Right. Hey, you get some. Thank you. Now my mouth is hot. It's so good. That's a lot. That's a lot. Four pounds. Four pounds of crawfish. How many two pounds of crab legs? Yeah, look at this crawfish. Look how big this crawfish is. You can definitely eat the claws off of the eggs. You <laughs> didn't <laughs> gentlemen. Y'all, 10 out of 10. Nay seafood was good. I'm so full right now. Like, so full. Pick up the phone, show me it was real. Pick up the phone, show me it was real. Pick up the phone, show me it was real. Pick up the phone. Yeah, I don't wanna put no pressure on ya. I just wanna put a blessing on ya. Since our last undressing session, I'm not really sure if you've been checking. I'm progressing. I just heard my song just popping out in Macedonia and even Serbia. I don't mean to burden ya. If you got a man, sis, then I understand. Last thing I wanna do is get you jammed. Especially if he's the fan. He probably never wanna hear my shit again. And I need every single sound scan. But if you single and you down, then I'm in your town feeling for another round. A few moments later. I've had too much to drink. So, <laughs> we have been drinking, uh, we have been drinking since we left home today. So, I'm going to take my clothes off and wind down and probably get ready to cook something to eat later. I'm still full from earlier. That food was so good. So good. Those char grilled oysters. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I'm a little inebriated. And it was mimosas. Like, I'm a whiskey drinker. Anyway. I don't know, maybe I'll see y'all tomorrow because tonight, oh, I am going to cook. So I'm going to try. I'm going to try real hard. But if I don't, please charge to the game because it was definitely fun today. We, we, <laughs> we were outside and by the looks of it, I need to stay inside.
I have not played the footage back from last night. I was lit. I was I was toasty and I was toasty from drinking micheladas and mimosas. I passed out last night. Do you hear me? We passed out last night. I didn't there was no cooking. There was no anything. Sleep. Hard sleep, okay? Y'all look. Look at all the flowers. So it's a combination. Um, I was gifted a few. I was gifted some white roses by one of my coworkers. Um, yeah, I got flowers. So here's the thing, since I didn't cook yesterday, I prepped all that food. So I'm about to get ready to cook what I was gonna make last night. Um, I called my daughter to see if she wanted to come out. I'm almost convinced my children don't care too much for me. <laughs> they, don't, they don't care about me. Like, I had to text everybody first. I'm like, oh, y'all mothers now, so forget your own. What what are we doing here? What what is this about? Um. So yeah, <laughs> then I was gifted. We don't. We're not. We're not. We're, we're, we're not gonna talk about it. Um. There's a couple of new items. Can y'all see me? There's a couple of new items at Trader Joe's. I want some seaweed snacks. is out of here so souffle cheesecake I don't know what this is about but it says Japanese souffle cheesecakes two airy moist crustless cheesecakes they said they were pretty good so I got a couple of those and some strawberries to go on top I'm gonna put those green beans I got a pineapple and some endive because I made some like salmon dip, whatever, whatever. And then these, these are Relinas. It's crispy mashed potatoes with seasoned ground beef in the inside. I don't know what this is about either, but we shall see. Sparkling watermelon juice. We have now the sparkling guava. And then I got a coconut water with yuzu, and that will conclude my. That will conclude Trader Joe's today. I really feel like I want to sit down because, yeah, I just got home. I think I am about to get a bath really quick, get in the kitchen and cook me something to eat. Cause I had breakfast at like nine this morning and it's almost four. So we're gonna do that. And I am suffering from like a really bad headaches. I don't know what's going on, but I don't like it. Um, I actually took medicine yesterday because I felt like I was struggling. Like I was, I was struggling. Um, Yeah. Oops. I keep wanting to put that up there. And that is not the best idea. Yeah, I'm struggling with these headaches. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm about to go to the front door, get my little Amazon packages. It's nothing but <laughs> it's nothing but the bodying body suits, okay? Cook some dinner and chill in that order. I shouldn't be doing anything today. I should be just mothering, chill mothering. Oh, my tulips are alive and blossoming. How sweet. And put my flowers together, that kind of thing. But I'm a little hungry. So I will see you guys in a minute once I 
get myself together as always you know the drill yeah and today since it is officially happy mother's i mean since it is officially mother's day today happy mother's day to all the mothers out there i think i just said that yesterday but yeah and we really didn't have any plans yesterday but it, i i feel like it was an ode to you know mother's day for me because we had a really good time we, we had a really good time out yesterday um nate's was terrific I'm probably gonna we, we're probably gonna go there this week to have some um, grilled oysters because it was spectacular. Catch y'all in the field. Let's catch a flight, change the weather, and I promise forever. Definitely follow. Thank you for this video. I'm not just to my body. I think I'm getting to the I think I'm going to keep myself safe. I'm take this on my game. I'm not afraid of When I tell y'all, my energy is low. My flowers, I don't know if they came out the way I really wanted them to. They're beautiful nonetheless. I really didn't even feel like cooking. I thought I, I thought I felt like cooking until I started cooking. If you know what I mean. And I really don't like eating on camera like that, you know. Mm. But I need to put something on my stomach. Okay. Ooh, that fish is hot. It's good. The weather was a little icky, so I told my daughter, like, don't even worry about coming. I know she has to get asked and ready for school and all that tomorrow, so. Yeah. It's all good. I, I really need to give myself some more attention today. I'm gonna do a little editing and just lay in my bed and watch TV. I don't really wanna do anything. I'm trying to go on a trip, but I have no idea where I want to go. I can't really be gone a week right now. Like, I can't really afford to go somewhere for more than a week and where the time change, you know, like, I, I want to go to Tokyo. I wouldn't mind hollering at Dubai. <clears throat> And just now is not a good time. There's a lot going on at work for me, so. I'm trying to be cognizant of that. 
and it's almost bonus time. I'm, I'm hoping that they make a little deposit in your girl's bank account. But I'm gonna finish enjoying my food. I'll probably be sleepy after this. I'll probably have the itis and definitely wanna lay down. But whatever I choose to do. Today is my day. So if I wanna lay down in the bed and do nothing, I think I should be able to. I need to make a braid appointment. <laughs> it's either that or pixie cut. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. I'm in this mirror. I'm gonna give y'all some details for today. We're gonna start our morning out a little bit different, but we are gonna chat in the car because I'm running late um let's see i have chloe glasses on i have this sweater top is from forever 21 valentino bag the slacks i know they came probably from the thrift store and then these little cheap slides i have no idea i've had them forever i feel like this kind of makes me look heavier than what i really am but yeah we're gonna we're gonna stick with it because i'm very comfortable and casual i did bring a change of shoes because we are going somewhere this afternoon but this is the look for today good morning okay y'all i am oh lord i'm headed to Oof. Oof. yeah this traffic is stupid dumb I don't know anything about it because I'm normally sitting at my desk at this time. So we have some activities, some stuff planned today. We're gonna do this. I am gonna have to go to the office for a minute, but I took off Friday. So we will definitely get into some things on Friday. Well, the rest of this week, probably not Thursday because I'll be busy Thursday, but um, yeah. We're gonna get into some things. I walked in my closet and I'm like, 70% of that stuff in there, I need to throw it away. I've worn it and worn it and it needs some freshness. Um, I don't even know where to shop. Like, I don't even know. I, you know. I can only do so much Zara. So we're gonna do that. And then this afternoon I was invited. A friend of mine, she's getting into this travel advisory agent kind of journey and she really wants me to partner with her and it sounds like a good idea but I'm like it's only one of me like I'm trying to get ready to launch a business and work and then two works <laughs> and then four work but I'm gonna definitely go and support her and see what's up speaking of travel I think I've been kind of limiting myself because of the time that I get to spend with my honey um you know that I choose not to really travel on the weekend but it's just it's actually just so much better for me it's just you know like a Thursday through Tuesday or something like that rather than me just be gone like the whole week I can but it's easier for me to take a couple of trips that consist of you know kind of more like that weekend thing so I'm probably gonna have to talk to him and just be like, yeah, maybe I won't see you this weekend. Maybe that'll give him some time to miss me anyway, because yeah, not that he shouldn't miss me enough because I don't see him enough, but. <laughs> um, yeah. sure i don't think i picked up the camera in a couple of days the video that i was supposed to put out that's really short like really short it's not even out as of today when i'm recording this so I, i'm feeling some type of way but the grace i have been giving myself is really good like there's some days i caught up on some rest yesterday i had to like my eyebrow was lifted all the way up here because i was like 
you actually did not do anything today. You came home from work, took a shower, and laid in the bed. I scrolled the TV. I hooked up my new modem from at and I had to change my Wi-Fi passwords and chat. It was a whole lot, a whole lot. Of, but <laughs> it's been great. I, I love that for me. I love just chilling, you know. But yeah, we're gonna get into today. We're gonna find something to eat. It'll probably have to be a quick drive through somewhere, unfortunately, because I would like to go get that prescription. But I'm probably gonna. Because I think it's about $400. It's probably about $400 for my glasses, and I might not be able to do that until like Friday. But we're off this weekend. I also want to, I mean, not off this weekend, but we're off on Friday. Um, I also want to make an appointment to go and see Lex and Jax off Instagram from Charette Cosmetics. I still want to go and just see um, what she suggests, you know. And then I also need to make an appointment to get my hair braided. I want to get my hair braided. And the only thing about braids is I'm not going to do anything but put it up in a bun, put it up in a ponytail. I just don't want hair. Oh, shit. Yeah, I just, I just don't want hair. And it's getting hot. So who wants all that hanging off their neck, hanging off their back? Like, I'm really outside. Anyway, y'all, I will catch up with y'all in a little bit. Once I get to wherever I'm going. Y'all, it's hot outside. Like, with a couple of teas, okay? Anyway, good afternoon. Um, I went to BTS this morning. I went to BTS this morning. What else did I do? I went to the liquor store and stocked up on a couple of things. Um, and I think I'm on my way to Amir Oud. I was going to go home and like try to do something for an hour or so, but because of the traffic and all that, I'm just going to... What is going on? I'm just going to go ahead and head to the area or the part of town that I need to be in and kill a little time at Amir Oud, might as well. I actually need to find out the proximity of Amir Oud and where I'm going. But I have been wanting to go in there and create something fresh and summery. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll go to this event. Tomorrow afternoon, I finally got an appointment uh, with Lex. So tomorrow afternoon, we're gonna go to Charette Cosmetics and meet Miss Lex, see what she has to say. I don't know why I'm kind of feeling like I'm going to let her. <laughs> I don't even know what that let her is, but I, I think I'm going to let her. Right here. Oh, let me see. So. Oh, perfect. So these. You've been smelling. Yes. I don't Do know. I indigo? Really? Yeah. Like, I don't know why. I've just kind of like. Wow, they're very different. Mmm. <laughs> they're very different. No problem. I like this. Curious. 
Uh-uh, period. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy. I'm glad it. I was able to come visit y'all. Thank you. <laughs> See you soon. All right, y'all, I have made it home. And I'm tired. But meet your new travel agent. So let's see how many jobs does that make? This, this little situation hit different though, you know. Some people try to get you to join stuff and be a part of things and it just all made sense, especially when I like to travel. So, if you want to book something, matter of fact, my mother just got off the phone. My mother just got back from New York like two days ago. And she just finished telling me on the phone, not even 20 minutes ago, that the travel agent that they booked their hotel to stay at took their money. And when they got to New York, they had no hotel room. Excuse me? Excuse me. Anyway. I'm about to get online tonight and use my ITA number, also referred as travel agent number. <laughs> yeah. Um, here's this foot massager that I'm about to take a bath and put my feet and my legs in. <laughs> I smell so good. Ooh, once you're a mere oud. I think I spent, I think I spent $200. So, they come in this little bag. I already took this one out. Oh, my glasses are filthy, y'all. I, I don't know. Dubai Indigo is the mix. Golden Sand, Tiant de Nega, and Coco Vanilla. It's real sexy. It's giving sexy. Then this one is special. She she came in the in the special bottle. Um this has Melissa May Imperial Gentle Fluidity Eccentric O2 and Candy Kiss. Baby, this is like a breath of fresh air. It's fresh and light and airy and it smells so good. And if I had had a bath, I would spray this all over me right now, but I'm not. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad I went there. Ooh. Mm, 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 mm. So love that, yeah, I'm tired. I haven't eaten since earlier. I have lots of things to do. I still have not gotten y'all a video, like. And now I have another job. But that one is working for myself and not working for someone else. So we'll see how it all goes, all works out, but I'm terribly excited. I'm terribly excited because now I can book my own trips and I can book my mom's trips and my grandmother's trips and I can book your trip and your trip and your trip. <laughs> so I'm gonna wind down. It's been a cute day, but it's been a long one. Like I've been going literally since this morning. Busy day. Tomorrow we're gonna go to work. We're gonna go to Charette Cosmetics. We're gonna go to Charette Cosmetics. And then we're gonna come home and we're gonna take a <laughs> we're gonna take a breather. And I think that's why I just don't do a lot of ripping and running, cause this has been a long day. And maybe it's because I was sitting in that meeting for so long. But it was so good, y'all. It was so good. And I'm excited. But I hope you enjoyed the day with me and we'll pick this thing up again tomorrow.
say good morning, y'all. Today is Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Work and appointment. And since I've been on the go, I really need to straighten my house up. That tomorrow my day is shot. But we'll work it out. I'm about to get ready to go because I'll be running late. But since I'm going to be doing some ripping and running today, I decided to eat something. some barbecue y'all so I am about to head to Sullivan's the place where I always get the delicious brisket from and I think I'm definitely gonna get enough brisket to eat now I feel like the way I have my camera set up it is just shake city I definitely want to get enough brisket to eat now and I have some really delicious soft brioche buns the same ones i made my breakfast sandwich with this morning um oh lord i need to get some brisket to make me a brisket sandwich this afternoon that way i don't have to cook um uh, yeah i, I just want to have some lunch i ain't gonna lie i'm so upset with the people i work with i ain't been saying nothing and talking to nobody since Friday. Just mind my business. Be quiet. They feel the heat though. They they feel the heat. My coworker te text me. Was that Monday? Yeah. And asked me was everything okay? That I was very very quiet. Kill them with the silence. But yeah. They have me a little angry right now. But I'm gonna grab some lunch, go back. It's almost two o'clock. So I don't have long. But back out of everything. I, I have everything in that bag, right? I have lean brisket, I have fatty brisket, I have. <laughs> macaroni i have potato salad i have a half a pound of smoked turkey so i'm gonna be eating sandwiches it smells so good and i'm so hungry i'm so hungry but that's good at least i'm feeding myself i'm gonna eat we love that yeah i gotta do something with this camera up here because this is not working it's shake shake city it's, it's twerking i don't want that and my camera just overheated. So I definitely have to pull it out the window. It's way too hot. Like I just went in there and came out and my camera was like, no ma'am. It's hot outside. It says 95 degrees, 90 degrees. It's warm. All right, y'all, so I'm getting Botox with the beautiful Miss Lex today. I have decided on Botox, and then we're going to wait two weeks and revisit some other things as well as microdermabrasion or microneedling rather to help with the hyperpigmentation in the skin texture but yeah okay. so we're gonna sit back okay. um, before we do get started i want to go over this after 
aftercare with you for the Botox. I know you've had it before, okay. um, but this is just something I like to give out for all my patients just because I want you to kind of know what to expect after. Okay. okay, so we're not doing the filler today, but you can like, read over it for future, okay, okay. for next appointment. Um, but for today, I want you to avoid laying down for four hours following treatment just so you don't um, accidentally fall asleep and like press on the Botox. Since Botox is a liquid muscle relaxer, anything to make it spread is what we don't want. Okay, so, so pressure don't makes it spread. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> pressure, so excess pressure, meaning tight hats, tight caps, tight wigs, headbands, just keep it back, like you, that's perfect. Okay. Just nothing like right here, because okay. then it will make it spread and be all droopy and we don't want that. Okay. That's not cute. Okay. <laughs> um, so um, if you get like a Botox headache, sometimes people do, you can take Tylenol only, okay? okay. Um, avoid facial massages for two full weeks, okay? okay. Um, that also includes like washa or like Clarisonic Spin Brush or anything. Mm -hmm. All of that will press too hard and okay. too aggressively, okay? okay. Um, avoiding the pressure of the areas treated when washing face just be very gentle with your face away from your eyes okay. no exercise for 24 hours okay final results are going to be at two weeks okay. um, that's why I want you back in two weeks okay. um, but you'll start to see less movement at about five days okay okay any questions no. <laughs> for the filler, what to expect, I guess, in the future? Just kind of read through that. Okay. The main stuff is just going to be um, anything that make you bruise and swell a little bit more, okay. um, which is alcohol. Um, oh, no, not alcohol. Vitamin E. <laughs> right, vitamin E, fish oil, stuff like that. So, okay. All righty. Any questions? No, ma'am. Awesome. Let's get started. I'm gonna do your Botox first, okay. and then we'll do your vitamins after. Okay. okay. Moved here back in 2022. Oh, you yeah, did not been here. Mm -hmm. I'm from Alabama originally. Oh wow! Yeah. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> well, I was doing travel nursing, oh, and then, okay. um, girl, I had a boyfriend at the time, uh -huh. so I was trying to follow him. Uh -huh. and we have a story. <laughs> and came and came on over to Dallas, and um. Yeah, I just decided to stay. stay. I actually really yeah. like it here. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, I was like, I actually like it. I'm just gonna stay. Right. <laughs> okay. But yeah, it's been it's been fun. I, that's, yeah. a, that's right. You said you're yeah. thirty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're twenty-seven. Okay. Yeah, so they're grown. Yeah. They're grown. They're all grown. You're like, they're on their own. Well, awesome. Angelina, doesn't she look so good? Yeah. Like, ah, it's crazy. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm going to um, just mark you up first, okay? okay. So I'm going to have you do the same expression, just raise up again. Charette Cosmetics appointment complete. And I have a headache. So yeah. Oh. Um. Whew. I have a headache, y'all. And I need to drink some water. I feel like I'm dehydrated, but, oh, where's my glasses? Let me just throw on some, cause the sun is sunny. These are, ooh, and there's traffic. Okay, so, baby, 75 is not, <laughs> 75 is not, but we gotta get home. That's taken care of. Okay, so in two weeks, I gotta decide. Really, I want my under eyes. That wasn't bad either. For the little Botox I got, that that was... 
she's so wonderful she's so gentle like i the I had a shot in my behind of B12 that hurt worse than anything. Like, my butt still hurts right now, but the needles, and I, it, you know, there was nothing to numb, so there was no numbing cream, there was no, none of that, and which is fine because the needles are so tiny, and it wasn't that much, so mission accomplished. I have work to do. I need to do my chores because tomorrow's Thursday and I'll be having anxiety about being behind on my chores. So I want to go home and take care of that. Tacos and tequilas yeah, thing is this weekend. I kind of wanted to go, but I don't. Why do I want to go to Nate's and eat oysters right now? That's where I want to go. I just want to go have like a dozen oysters. Is that okay? Then I want to go get a massage and I can't lay on my face. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, hey y'all, looking a little looking a little scraggly today. Let me give you my update. Um I have a Botox headache. So, she did tell me that I would probably or could potentially experience little headaches, mild headaches, that it would go away over the course of probably three days or so, um, and that there would be a little fatigue. And look, the fatigue part, you know I don't need the fatigue part. But I'm about to do a little work. I just thought I would let y'all know that last night, ah, ooh, it, it was pass out. Like, pass out, pass out. Yeah. And my man called me, and I know he knew something was wrong because I think I was definitely half asleep on the phone. I was tossing and turning and grunting and complaining about my head hurting. So, um, even the extra strength prescribed Tylenol was not working for me yesterday. Today I did good. Um, took a little Tylenol and I'm better. So, hopefully tomorrow all of this will clear up. Um, yeah. Um, tomorrow's Friday. I am actually trying to see if uh, oh. I was gonna get my hair braided next weekend I'm still trying to get this braid appointment but I'm trying to see if she can just get me Sunday like if she'll just let me come early Sunday morning since I'm not working um, yeah that would really be great that way when I'm off next week I can just like take care of lots of things <laughs> yeah right good afternoon my lovelies today is Friday May 17th um this I am parked outside getting ready to go on my braid appointment so we will see what happens when I get done I have had a day do you understand me like I have had a day um I know this is <laughs> not a formal ent look I know this is not a formal introduction to my hairstyle but um I just got bo Botox in my forehead and then today I go and I get my hair my scalp braided so yeah, um, I'm just going through it up up here, up in the in the northern region of my head. So I 
yeah okay so what did i do today because i did so many things I, I went to the thrift store i watched <sighs> I watched all these people who are on this craze to get oysters from Whole Foods. Like it was so many people in there that were like, yeah, we heard about it. What's the thing? Anyway, I got my two dozen and I think I'm getting ready to actually make the Rockefeller sauce cream spinachy thing that I'm going to put over the top of them. Um, honey will probably be on his way in a little bit. I haven't eaten anything, so I definitely am hungry. My blood flowers are just dead doorknob over there. Um, we'll let the braids out tomorrow because we are going to Tacos and Tequila concert. I think he said he ended up getting some tickets last minute, so that should be fun. I will not... Let me repeat, I will not be able to take my camera. I'm not even going to play around with this, so whatever footage I get... It'll probably be from my phone. I'm not even gonna play around with their pocket. Everything will be recorded from my phone. So there's that. Um, should be a pretty cool weekend. I did a lot of ripping and running. I tried to go to the store Close Horse Anonymous. It's like a upscale resale store over off of Preston in 635 if you live here or if you're familiar with the area. Um, but I got there too late. They were closed. But I did get those oysters. So I'm excited about that. Got some oysters, some crab meat, some Parmesan cheese, some spinach, some heavy cream. I'm definitely ready to do those oysters. And a friend of mine, when I talked to her today, one of my girlfriends called me and she was like, why don't you put them in the air fryer? And I was like, yeah, that's a possibility. But I think I'm going to broil them in the oven and so that they'll have a smoke flavor um i have made this really wonderful smoked salt so yeah this is going to be really really fun um what else yeah that's it my head is hurting so i i don't i don't want it down i don't really want it swinging i, I really just needed to stay in place um it needs to be slept on and and loosen up that part um my headache is going away and um the areas that she put the botox i can definitely tell that it, it's working um i was just on peyton's live and she was talking about botox and i was like yeah but mine was very minor and it it definitely looks like it's working but yeah those first two days it was a little rough that first day I, it, it really put me out like i was i was out like out um even yesterday i was still experiencing a little headache but today was much better um but today, now, I, I, again, my scalp is, and I asked them to be light on the tension, and they were, but it's still tight. So, we are going to make oysters Rockefeller. And I was going to cook some other stuff, but I'm not. I'm not because it's two dozen oysters and little crackers, hot sauce, and maybe I'm gonna try to find a couple of things to make a salad or something. So we are doing some cooking tonight. Tomorrow we will be out and it's okay because if I have one too many drinks tomorrow, I don't have to get up on Sunday morning. So this should be really fun.
time, but I don't know. I, I think it was the man that was shucking the oysters. He was kind of making me feel some type of way. He had an attitude. We almost had to change words. Because basically, it's a viral thing that happened. So I called three different stores. Nobody had oysters. Because who's ever, whoever has been putting it on social media, it's now a thing. So that if you're a prime, no, that if you're a prime member, you get oysters at Whole Foods for 99 cents on Friday. So he was pissed off because he was like, yeah, I've been shucking oysters all day. It's just oysters, 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 and it's only me. So by the time I had got there, he was like, well, we only have this many left. You know, you can mix them together. But he was like, I'm going to have to get some help because I'm I, I just not going to be able to shuck all these oysters by myself. I'm like, sir, you work here. I don't. <laughs> Okay, so I have prepared my oysters. Um, I made a spinach cream sauce with a little onion, spinach, lemon juice, heavy cream, garlic. Um, I used a little liquid smoke. Why do I look so, some kind of way? Um, I just put a little mozzarella and some Parmesan on top. I'm about to broil them in the oven for five minutes and we're gonna. I also finished my fish. I put my fish in a pan with squash and zucchini and onions. I'm gonna put that in the oven also. good morning good morning good morning so it is saturday and first of all i pulled out my eyelashes off in my sleep last night because for whatever reason the glue was not wanting to cooperate and yeah that's the only thing about this sunscreen is it makes my face so oily so we're up I feel oily. We're up getting dressed. We're going to go grab a bite to eat and then we're going to go out to Fort Worth. Um, they say you basically have to take a clear fanny pack. So they have one at the door or at the gate for sale. I had a clear bag that I could like try to attach a cute strap to, but I don't know where it is, of course. So I guess I'm gonna have to buy one, but with all that being said, I definitely am not gonna be able to take my camera. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go to lunch. I'm gonna throw some clothes on, we're gonna go to lunch, and then, yeah, but today should be fun. Tomorrow should be fun too, whatever I decide to get myself into, into something. How the hell I do that? Ooh. Okay, let me get all this stuff out of here. Thanks, babe. What an evening. I am back home and I'm sorry that you just didn't get to see a whole lot of me, but I didn't get to take my camera and so many other things have happened. Like 
before I even got there, I went to go look for my driver's license. Can't find that. So I had to get online and get a new driver's license. Um, we get there and we've got lawn chairs, but you could not take the bag to the lawn chair in the event. <clears throat> so somewhere along the way, I had my portable charger and my cord which my cord is very different from a regular cord because it doesn't have a USB on the end. Lost my driver's license. I lost my phone charger. Um, what else? Okay, maybe that's it. Um, it was cute. It was cute. We were out there a long time. I think we got there a little after four. And we were there till like... 10 30 ish maybe um so we saw exhibit we saw chameleonaire um ludicrous was the last person it was somebody else somebody else but it was cute um i'm now hooked on kava a little bit we went to kava today that was good um yeah it was really freaking hot outside in dallas earlier today like really hot um but once it cooled down it was really nice outside so that was great um i'm getting ready to take a bath and get on my computer um i have quite a few things i want to do tomorrow i'm disappointed because after my measuring um these things at Ikea are just going to be a little troublesome for me, but we'll see. But tomorrow is going to be a busy day. I need to drop some clothes off um, to donate at the thrift store. I also want to go in there. <laughs> um, yeah, because Sunday is discount day if you are a reward member. <laughs> and we had a good night, and I will see y'all tomorrow. <sighs>